In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a timeline slide using some milestones. So this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first step. You can add the detailed text along with the title and I've added some icons which can be replaced with your own icons and provided the shadow effect here. When I click with a different color combination comes the second option, the third, the fourth milestone, the fifth and then the, the last one. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light blue grayish color background then go to the view, enable the guides, go to the insert shapes from the lines I'm going to select the free form line so i'm going to make a kind of a path here for that just click here once hold the shift key it becomes a straight line again bring it down by holding the shift key here also shift and click and here i'm going to make some more top again shift and click and a little bit like this all right double click shape outline i'm going to make this as a white outline then right mouse click go to the format shape under the line for the width i'm going to make this as 30 so it looks something like this and then you can see here the end arrow type i'm going to choose which is this one all right and then go to the effects and under the 3d rotation i'm going to presets and from presets i'm going to choose this one which is isometric top up so it looks something like this you can see here now again if you want to increase the size you can hold the shift key and increase the size as well you can see here so depending on the requirement again if you want to more increase this one you can right mouse click you can edit points as well here so you can see here i'm just increasing and it has increased all right so let's stick to this particular shape again if you want hold the shift key you can reduce also all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is for each step i'm going to add some kind of a milestones for that i'm going to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the old shape just click it here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give a kind of a gradient color a light uh, uh, gray and white color combination you can see here all right and then go to the effects under the 3d rotation i'm going to choose which is isometric top up so it looks something like this and then go to the 3d format the depth i'm going to give the depth as 50 all right and then here you have got different lightings here so whichever lighting which best suits the requirement you can just choose any lighting you want you can see here different different lightings we have here all right so maybe i'm just going to choose more light color let it be like this and then duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give a different color here and here i'm going to make the depth as zero okay there is no depth and here i'm going to select the top bevel and i'm going to increase the width here okay maybe 9.5 and put it exactly on top of this first of all bring to front and put it here and select both of these objects and i'm going to place this here okay the next thing is press ctrl d to duplicate now here this particular thing i'm going to place this one here but the size i'm going to increase gradually so it is 50 now i'm going to make it maybe 55 all right and this color i'm going to give some different color combination and i'm going to place it here okay then select both press ctrl d now it comes here so here i'm going to give now 60 see 5 5 points i'm increasing and this color combination i'm going to give maybe a purple again select both of this press ctrl d bring it here again if you want more you can give more as well instead of 60 i can give 70 here okay and then the color of this i'm going to change maybe to red and then press ctrl d one more comes here so this will be kind of 75 all right and make sure that you are properly aligned to this 
and now this color I'm going to give maybe a kind of a green color all right and then the last one sorry I have to do it once again let me just adjust it properly and press ctrl D and move it here okay so now this one you can just make it maybe 80 all right and then change the color to any color of your choice uh, maybe I can just give a uh, different color maybe gray color all right so we have done this one now let's add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape once again draw a oval shape like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to make this as black increase the transparency go to the effects under the soft adjust increase the size here you can see here and then rotate a little bit and put it here I'm going to increase the size again if you want we can increase the soft edges as well and then select both of these let me just do one thing let me just group this one that will be easy for me okay so I'm just going to group this highlight and press ctrl G to group it so you can see here I'm just grouping this all right now I'm going to put it here I can select this one and bring to front so you can see here one shadow effect I have created like this press ctrl D the same shadow effect I'm just going to copy it across all the milestones you can see here and later on we can adjust it if you want to increase the size reduce the size all right so let me just do this part and select all these shapes the milestones only and bring to front so you can see here i have added the shadow effect which looks something like this so once this is done you have got different ways uh, to provide that information one is we can add some icons so go to insert click on icons so you can see here i'm just randomly selecting few of uh, some icons here okay so some random icons i'm choosing all right i don't know why it has not selected these as well anyway okay click insert reduce the size to 0.5 and give the color kind of a gray and then start putting one by one on top of this you can see here and then I'm just going to put it here which looks like this again if you want you can just group it all including with the shadow okay so you can see here this is I'm selecting and then I'm pressing ctrl G press ctrl G to group it okay so this is done now let me just go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle and go to the insert again shapes and here I'm going to choose the isolation triangle draw a small triangle and rotate this one to flip vertical and put it exactly in the center all right and select both of the shapes merge shapes and make it union and shape fill I'm going to give this as a white color shape outline again depending on the requirement whichever color you feel best you can put it so one will come here then go to insert text box add detail text here center align and put it here now select both of these press ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate so this will come one will come here ctrl D one more will come here one will come here ctrl D this will come here and if there's no space here you can just rotate it by holding the alt and the right arrow key 
and the text also you can just rotate it all right so you can see here we have completed this particular uh, design now it's time to do some basic animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane so i'm going to select this one first and you can make it either wipe so you can see here wipe and then this also you can add animation and stretch click ok stretch should happen from bottom and should happen after previous okay so if i play it comes something like this so now i can simply copy this one using the animation painter click on this then select this one click here again the third one so it's very simple i'm just copying the animation and i'm applying it there okay so again copy this one and do it so quickly you see how much quickly easily we can just copy the animation without spending much effort so you can see here yeah so this one maybe i can make it from left so now if i play it comes something like this option two option three option four actually this one should come first and then this one so we have to change the sequence of the animation